Hello whiskey lovers and welcome to another one of Mark's whiskey ramblings. I'm taking a brisky walk here in, in, in my neck of the woods basically and where you find some of these old... What are we talking about? We're here for whiskey, obviously we're here for whiskey. And today I would like to talk to you about Tora Vague. You'll remember that last summer I spoke to you about Tora Vague, which is a new distillery on Sky, founded in 2017. Sky may ring a bell because of, of course there is another famous distillery on Sky that's been around for almost 200 years. Talisker. But, like I said in my previous video, do not make the mistake of comparing this to Talisker. It's like apples and pears. Talisker has been around for 200 years, Torreveg has been around for, well, five. Anyway, like I said last summer when they released their inaugural release, it was already quite an impressive malt, quite pleasant malt, quite a maritime malt indeed. And now, after their inaugural release, there is this new one that is aptly named Altglan. Altglan is Gaelic for ancient glen, or if you're less romantically imposed, Old Valley. I wasn't even aware that the Torreveg distillery was in a valley, but there you go. Anyway, this uh, Altglan from Torreveg is composed of 300 bourbon barrels that were filled in 2017 and 2018. So this is again only three years to four years old, and it is, like its predecessor, bottled at 46% ABV. Alt Glan. I've enjoyed it quite a bit, as you can tell, uh, but I haven't talked to you about it yet, and I'm about to rectify that situation. Also like its predecessor, it is quite pale. It's got the color of white wine, in fact, but it does stick nicely to the glass. The Torreveg Alt Glan on the nose. Well, I stick my nose in the glass, and immediately I feel like I'm in, in an old apothecary, you know, in an old shop of an apothecary where, where I, I get some burn ointment, some band-aid, some burlap, you know, youth sacks. It's soft and sweet. I get some peat, some white fruit, lots of vanilla. And it even reminds me a bit of kelp. Having said that, very maritime, but if I were to make a comparison, I wouldn't make it to Talisker. I would, in fact, make it to Kalila or Lechik. Well, on the palate. Mm. The arrival is quite soft, in fact a bit light-bodied, and immediately very sweet, but also quite peaty and maritime. I get a bit of brackish water, but that is counterfeited by some, some icing sugar, lots of vanilla. It's lovely, well-balanced, but quite sweet and maritime at the same time. Uh, it's a little farmy, it's like uh, the, the comparison with Kalila and Lechik, again, can be made much more so than you would with Talisker, but like I said, don't compare. This is quite a lovely malt in its own right on the finish then. Now this finish is medium long, quite gentle. It offers some mental peat again, but also some green herbs and, you know, a bit of a slight bitterness as if I just bit down on the pith of a grapefruit. There you go. Well, all in all, despite the fact, again, that this is quite young, like the inaugural release, it's young by definition, of course, this is already quite the malt. And it's also friendly priced. You can buy this in your neck of the woods for around 55, maybe 60 euros. So what's not to like? The second release, the Alt Glen from the Torreveg Distillery on Sky at 46%. Lovely, lovely single malt. And that's all for this Whiskey Rambling. And I hope to see it one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings real soon. And until then, may the malt be with you.